Hello there, welcome into the channel Sage Sensei Healing Tarot. Thank you so much for being here and I really do hope you're doing well in this time. I thank you for liking the video, for sharing it with those you love and for subscribing to the channel. Share the messages by hitting the share button. If the messages inspire you, share to your WhatsApp, social media group, so on and so forth. Welcome in new viewers. I appreciate you and I really do appreciate you can... Um, I really do hope I, you get messages here that inspire you and you may become a part of this healing family here that we have going on. Thank you for being here, all of you. These are going to be general messages for the sign of cancer. All of the messages may not apply to all of you. Listen well and take the messages that do apply to you and the rest let them fly. There's a powerful force of love coming forward to you. It's been given to you, coming into your life. It could be information. It could also be a force of hate. You know, it depends on your situation. But this is a love reading. Whatever this is, you should love yourself the most. And in that case, I feel like it is a powerful force of love that is coming through for you. You have Christ consciousness here. You're going to be given some information. I feel like you went through trial and tribulation. You're going to be made steady, stable, grounded, on the top of your game, governing your land, your money, your business, everything. It's coming together. I feel it's coming together well with this information. The justice card is here to say you deserve this. That's why it's coming forward to you, this amount of love. This could also be a blessing from the universe, guidance and protection for you. We have the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like it's money being something that you've earned. You know what I mean? So whether it's love or money, whatever this powerful force, you've earned it. And it's the Knight of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. So it's a lot of, and I hear the word bling. I don't know what that means because I don't, so if it's bling, bling, <laughs> <laughs> good vibrations um i just keep wanting to say forwarding into your energy space today look at that so you're gonna have a lot to be thankful for so just give thanks already all right this could be coming from an earth sign taurus virgo or a capricorn person it's almost like they may want to make your dreams come true with this amount of love. It's like they want to prove it to you, this act, this action that they want to take. And I hear devotion. They want to show devotion to you, something like that. Committed, like they're committed to showing you love, giving you love, expressing you love adamantly. Real, they want it to feel real to you. I feel like you're going to be discerning, tapping into your Christ consciousness energy here with the Ace of Swords, your truth, your truth, not anyone else's truth, but yours. Something's coming around that's going to make you feel, maybe you are dependable, but something is dependable or making you feel even more stable and grounded and it's right. It's something that you deserve. It will be bringing you into balance. It could be something having to do with your home or your land or your money, your work, your prosperity, your emotional balance. It's almost like this powerful force of love with the Ace of Swords, this truth, this whatever that's coming forward. It's, it's returning to you to replace something that was making you maybe unstable. Like, and I feel like you, you weren't even aware that this was missing. Or that it was taken. I feel like you walked away from a connection that was not good for you at all. You knew that. You could tell. And I feel like you weren't going to stay for love nor money. You know. You started to dream. To visualize. And you're telling this person or situation. Listen. I'm walking away. I have to go. They couldn't stop you. And they tried. This person that you left could be following you, coming after you. It's the same person that maybe want to present you with gifts, possibly with the Ten of Pentacles vibration. And the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like this person has been working hard, preserving and storing up energy or something, money maybe, to, to give it to you, 
So I feel like they want to make you happy. There's something in your gut that you know, a visceral feeling, a truth, an awareness that you know. I feel like you're going to stand your ground, unshakable with this truth that you know, with this vision that you have and this place that you want to go. You know, I feel like you get there to this place of stability. You've accomplished. The Ace of Swords is also the vibration of triumph, victory, success, the winner. And that is you. Okay? And that's because you chose to be a leader, especially for yourself. A strong man masters others. A lot of people try to master other people. You were working on mastering yourself, your own crafts, your vision. Look at you, focus on what you become. I feel like this person too, they weren't giving you a lot of information, a lot of time, a lot of attention too. I said information, but I meant to say attention. But they may have also withheld information from you. And you could have felt that. You, it's almost your instincts, all of your visceral feeling, your visceral knowing, like I was saying, energy within your gut feeling knows the truth about this person, perhaps, or what they were giving to you. And so I feel like this person spent a lot of time working, could be a Virgo that wants to return. No, this hermit card seeking your light once more. And as you sit here looking abundant, confident, liberated, and free, working on your energy, visualizing, this person now wants to come back around to you. But the energy that they're moving forward with is humility. I feel like this person has been humbled by your presence, your grace, your sovereignty, your peace. What you preach, because I hear you preach, your message, gladiator. I don't know why I heard gladiator. Who is the gladiator? I don't know. This energy is too giving me gladiator. I feel like this person is left in the past, facing their own karma here, feeling sad, broken, alone. Um, I feel like they will be okay if they continue working on themselves, your past person. Mm -hmm. I feel like they have um, compromised their dominant energy. What does that mean? Yeah. It's just you not giving in to their temperaments, their, strat their tactics. I feel like that causes them to be humble because they, once they were the emperor in your vibration or they wanted to be the man of the house or the one with the word, you know, but it's almost like when, when you left and they saw how brilliantly you're working on yourself, how you're healing your heart, all of that, how your fortune has changed beautifully. Things prospering for you, flourishing in your life. And I hear your daily life. And I'm hearing your daily bread. Um, now they are humbled by your energy. They want to come back around to you, like I say. This person wants to send you a message. And I'm hearing a message in a bottle. Like maybe across the ocean. Because I'm also sensing salt water. This person may be connected to you um, psychically. And the div divine connection could be through water. Salt, water, or healing. Maybe you guys did stuff like that together. All right. Um, and I, I keep hearing a message. Maybe they want to send a message to you at work. Or this person is receiving a message about you. Something to you at, at work. Or you are hearing a message about this person. While you're at work or this person may be coming around to you while you're at work. 
I feel like you have your antennas on and up. You're sharp. You're picking up information a lot. You're very intuitive. Like you have the word and the truth. Where you get your information from is within yourself. You stream clearly from the divine. Like I say, your Christ consciousness, your awareness, what you already know, the truth. And the truth is. And it is because you are so very pure. You're a pure channel. And you're very emotional. That is why you're able to really pick up on the truth. Not just that. There's something about your gifts. You're gifted. Because something about your tongue. Like you literally have antennas. Like you are designed to pick up information. You know, whether you're extra sensitive or whatever. You're designed to, to, to be an embodiment of whatever that is. A cell that, yeah, that has certain types of information. All right. So like I say, I see getting to this place of stability and it's so profound. It's a place you've always wanted to get to. It could be happening really quickly too. Some, like something is happening that will change. The justice, like something will be made right. You know, like I'm saying, something was mis a mishap happened when it came to your fortune. And I feel like you weren't fully aware of what happened. And I feel like you were struggling for a bit to get things afoot or get a foot in. But now you know you, who you are. Either you're going to get information or just some clarity coming through. But it's done by what is right, the justice and the will. Maybe your will. Maybe the will of things beyond you. That you know the truth. And it's almost like it's really given to you, I feel, this feeling of stability. Because the Ace of Swords is also angels of stability. That's what I heard. Forwarding into your life. Making a move. And it's like it's just literally just shifting. It's like shifting a puzzle piece beneath. Just, just to give you more stability, I feel. Whatever this is, that's going to work out for you. The justice. And it could be your abundance, your financial stability. Because there are a lot of pentacles energy here that's going to be shifted. It's like you ought to be balanced financially. Or stable or liberated or free. Free from whatever. Whatever. If people were talking bad about you, about you, whatever it was that wasn't right, you're going to be free of it. Your name is going to be cleared and the truth will be spoken. And you're going to get what is just and it's going to make you even more prominent, more stable. And I hear more divine and more clever. Cleverness and divinity. That is you. And I feel you do good work. People appreciate what you do. You know. You know, people appreciate who you are. So you deserve to be rewarded. The energy of rewards. Coming forth for you, my dear. So I really do hope you enjoy. We're going to take one. I don't want to stop. Let's go. Oh my goodness, listen, the justice is the queen of pentacles. Like I just literally said that. I wish I shuffled live just so you could have seen that. And I said the justice is your reward, your liberation, what you get back. Now this person may be coming around to you, trying to give back to you, trying to marry you, trying to offer you proposal, trying to tell you tell them tell themselves that, you know. They're going to be giving to you now and they, they're going to give all to you because they realize where they went wrong kind of energy. You know, maybe they feel like they're, and I hear they're dealing with karma. But yeah, I feel like this person's facing karma as well. And loss. If, yeah. Anywho, so justice is the queen of pentacles. Once more, it came out clarified. So you're going you're gonna to get something that you've hoped for. And what you're hoping for is what, whatever that Queen of Pentacles means to you. 
Um, Queen of Pentacles is normally confidence, clarity, wealth, um, connected to the divine, material possessions. Look, this is saying daydreaming, dreaming, dreaming again. So this is you having a dream, fulfilling your dreams. Whenever I see this card, it's like your eyes full of stars, energy, and full of water as well. It's like really daydreaming. Look, full of stars and full of water. You know, happiness and creating happiness. And because of that, you're manifesting this love. People are going to be coming back around to you. Yeah, they face their karma. Now they understand some truth. They want to come around and speak some truth to you as well. All right. So what is the emperor? Destiny or something. Oh my, yes. Aligning with your destiny. You're dreaming again. A new vision. You're going to be happy fulfilling your vision. Someone wants to say sorry to this person from your past. You know, sorry to you. Say sorry to you. 